wonderful because I I liked a great deal of what she she liked and enjoyed in the arts. I also liked her lovely house where there was a lot of music anyway. And uh, I, I, I admired her ability. She had a straight, well not strange, but she had the unusual ability of a, an artistic mind, which was also a business mind. They rarely go together, but they did in her case. Well, largely music, uh, and 18th century music, but uh, others as well. I, I quite enjoyed the the uh, drama that she enjoyed, and we used to be invited, both of us, to some things in other other places in Bath and Cheltenham and so on. And uh, I always seem to enjoy the same sort of. Um, occasions. Um, not particularly. She she was born on Mafeking night, 1900, and uh, she was born not Pollard, of course, but she was uh, born uh, with the name of Dowdswell, D O W D E S. W E W L, and that that is a family that you can trace back into Tudor periods. But her father was a naval officer, and she was born. Uh, I can't. What's the name of the place? I can't think of the moment, but I I know it very well, and I remember taking her over when she didn't want to drive that far to look at the house where she was born. Oh, it was by Chesil Beach. And then she... Well, I, I, I also remember her, her own mother, who was quite an artistic person. And people of those days often uh, indulged, that's the wrong word, but took part in, in arts themselves, either by playing an instrument or singing of which she did both, or being interested in drama, or whatever. Well, I, yeah, I found her inspirational, yes, because she, she not only knew what was necessary or what she thought was necessary, but she had the ability to carry it out. And those things don't always happen conveniently. Oh yes, well I was only a teenager, you see, when the, the art centre opened, and uh, I felt very junior to most people there. Yes, I do. Yes. Well, I wouldn't have known how to uh, to get a an art centre running. Uh, or, or be able to uh, tempt people like John Betjeman to come here, but she could. Yes, she was a keen member of uh, Blake Drama Club here. Certainly. Um, a little. She was. She had a brother and a sister and uh, they lived mainly in London at that time. So it was London uh, during the First World War and so on. But I think from an early age she was intensely interested in music and used to go to a lot of the uh, scene in London. Well, she had a, a very splendid garden and a very lovely house. Um, I think she did many things over a year. 
she had a, a daughter who, I, I don't know whether she's still alive, because she moved to Minehead, but she had a daughter and grandchildren and did all the things that families do. I think it was a very strong personality and a personality that was able to uh, influence others and to uh, put her case, whether it was for the building or the, or the programme or whatever. You couldn't be in a room with her without thinking, my goodness, there's a strong woman.